This is depth for search. So here we have the graph that we're going to traverse. Uh, and down here at the bottom, we're going to keep track of which nodes we have already visited, which will be important later. Uh, but depth for search is very simple. What we're doing is we're running a function on a node. So we're going to start with A. And that function just runs itself on every child um, in random order. The order doesn't matter. So we've picked A and we're going to pick a random child, which is B. So we start with B. And then B now is running this function so it can pick a random child uh, starting with F. So now F is running this function and it picks a child so it picks I. And now I doesn't have any children to run this function on so it just returns. And then we go back up in the F function. So now F has to uh, pick another child so it picks J. It's the only one it has left. And so now J is running this function. J picks a child, it can only pick K. Now K returns, so we go back into J. J returns, so we go back into F. Now F can return, it doesn't have any more children uh, that haven't been uh, explored. So it returns, which gets us back to B. So B has one child left, which is E. So we run the function on E, but it just returns. So we go back into B, no more children to explore. So we return and go back all the way to A. Uh, and now A has to pick another child, so it picks uh, C, and C only has one child uh, to apply the function to, so we run the function here on G, and G has one child here, but it has already been visited, so we don't uh, call the function on that. Um, so we just return back into C, and back all the way to A, and now A has one child left, which is D, uh, D has a child, which is G, which we have already visited. So we just skip that one and then call the function on H, which has no children. So we just return directly back into D and then back into A. And now we've traversed the entire graph. Uh, so now the function can end and uh, yeah, we're done. Depth for search on its own isn't very interesting, but if you're interested in learning one of the applications of it, you can watch my next video, which is about topological sort.